What's up guys, it's Eric with Modern Day Family Man. How you guys doing today? I am bringing you a highly requested video. I got the box right here, we're ready to do this. As you guys um, can see by the title, it is the Tracker. Um, Tracker Bravo, actually, to uh, be specific. Um, so I've done a lot of reviews on other trackers, or Bluetooth tracker, GPS units. Um, here's a couple links if you want to check out some of the competitors of this product. First is the tile, which you click right here. And then you have the Pebble B, which I'll put a link right here. And then you have the Lapa. Um, so if you guys want to see these videos, please check, check these out right here. But we are here for the tracker. So um, I believe the uh, tracker has been on Kickstarter a couple times, and this is like the second or third version. Um, and they are saying that they are the largest crowd um, finding company out there, even bigger than Tile. Who knows if that's true or not, I don't know. But we're gonna open this bad boy up and we're gonna take a look at it. And also, um, a video has been requested of the distance between all of these. I've done another distance video between the Pebble Bee and the Tile. If you guys wanna see that, click right here. But if you guys wanna see my up and coming video of distance probably between the Tracker and the Tile, maybe I'll throw in the Pebble Bee and the Lap, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll put a link right here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this box. Um, as you can see, um, it is in a, like a turquoise blue color, and that's the color that I picked. And they had like black, white, um, a couple other colors, which I'll put a link if you guys want to check out um, the colors that they have and the, the price. I believe I paid like $27.95, something like that. Um, which makes it one of the more expensive trackers on the market. But if it works, it works all the time, works good, then it's worth it. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. You guys can take a look at the back of the box really quick if you want. It's the thinnest design. We're gonna take a look at that. Uh, item ringer, phone finder, separate aler uh, separation alerts, crowd GPS. Um, it has a one-year replaceable battery, which is cool because some other of the competitions do not have replaceable batteries. One-year warranty. And let's go ahead and jump right into this bad boy. All right, so you can see here, as it looks like the instruction book, instruction manual, and a couple other things in here. Looks like it has a little key ring. It has a little sticky, so you can stick this onto maybe like a laptop or a phone. Here you can put, you know, with the key ring, you can put this on your, um, your keys. And then right here, here is the actual tracker. I'm gonna zoom in. All right. So it does feel solid, it's metal really cool and I believe this is a push button yep I just pushed it and turned right on and I've seen the battery somehow you can get your finger in here you can open it right up and this is a CR1616 battery and what's awesome about this compared to some of the other trackers is that this is really easy to open up and change the battery this is a great design because some of the other batteries that you can change, it might take you five minutes to change just because it takes so long to open up. You gotta find a tool, you gotta like pry it open, and it's just really difficult. So it does look like it's a smaller battery, so I'm wondering how this holds up as far as battery life, because it's extremely important in this type of technology, because if the battery runs out, you're not gonna be able to find your item. But I love the weight of this. I love the feel of this. And since they make the claim of being the thinnest, let's take a look really quick. And you can see here, it is definitely thinner than the tile. It is definitely thinner than the Pebble B. And just barely thinner than the, the Lapa, but it's definitely thinner. So, 
very cool and you can easily put a key ring right on there and then the back you can actually um, put the little sticky and stick this onto anything that you want like a laptop phone you know whatever you, you lose all the time so without further ado let's go ahead and download the app and jump right into it because without an app this little bad boy is useless I'm gonna just type in tracker there it is we're gonna download it and install all right, this thing has installed. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, allow access to your location. Even when you're not using the app, it's fine. Send you notifications, of course. Make data available new nearby Bluetooth devices when you're not using the app. Yes. Yeah, yeah, here's a couple of instructions. It's very nice that they do that. It's asking you here which tracker you have, so you can see that it does have a diff couple of different versions. It looks like it's this one right here, which is their newest one, the Tracker Bravo. Press the button on the tracker to activate it. The device will beep when activated. Here we go. Parent request, and we're going to hit here. What are you tracking? So we're going to say keys, cat, dog, wallet. Backpack, camera, bag. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is very interactive and user friendly. So, for right now, we're going to just going to say, I'm always losing my keys. Always, always, always. So, I'm going to put it on my keys. All right, we're going to sign up. All right, we now have to sign up. We're gonna put in our name, email address, and a password. It is now registering. Once again, it's asking you what you're tracking. And there we are. All right, guys, let's check this out. There is a map right here. I'm gonna to have to block that out because that is my home address. And you can see it is keys, and down here you can see it does say it's getting closer. And it has like five or six green bars. What's really important about this thing also is how loud it is. So let's go ahead and press the button. Wow. Guys, I am like right next to this thing and I can barely hear it. I am just being completely honest. I cannot hear this thing. If this thing's like in a couch, you're not gonna hear this thing at all. I mean, it is a distinctive sound, but it's not very loud at all, guys. All right, so I do like that it keeps ringing. It doesn't stop. Some of the other trackers will actually stop after two, two or three seconds. This one's been going for like at least like 30 seconds or so. Let's say that now we now find it. I'm gonna press the button and it shuts off. So, another thing that's important is to be able to find your phone. So let's see if we press this button on the tracker itself. Let's see if the phone goes off. So it does make a sound on the phone, but it doesn't do it for very long. So that's what it does. So it does work both ways. I don't think it works very well. I think the phone should ring for like at least another couple seconds. This is makes one or two tones and that's it. Like you don't have to keep hitting this. And a lot of times when you're hitting the button, it doesn't even work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know if there's a a timer or something. What's also important is to be able to find your phone when the app is not running. So let's go ahead and shut down the app. All right, so you can see all the apps are closed and we're gonna press the button and it does not activate. Um, the box does say it will um, ring on silent mode, but you still need to have the app running in the background. 
Um, that's like most of the other trackers on the market. The only one that I know that actually rings a phone when the app is closed is actually called the Pebble Bee Stone. You can see a video of that one right here. So let's go ahead and open this back up and see what else is in this app. All right, the tracker. All right, so let's see what other settings. So as you walk away, this thing is going to get lighter and, or have less and less uh, bars. Um, you have a silent mode option, so um, this will actually disconnect um, between the phone and the tracker, so when they separate, um, the, they won't ring. Um, which, you know, most people, if they're your keys, you're definitely going to want to have this um, connected. So if you leave your phone behind or you leave your keys behind, they start ringing. All right, let's take a look at the next one, which is Wi-Fi Safe Zones, um, which I believe this will disable the, um, the distance when you're in your house, when you're on your Wi-Fi network. Um, I know with some of the other trackers, if you separate in your own house, it, these things only go for about 30 feet when there's walls and electric wire and all this kind of stuff. Um, so your, your phone is going to ring a lot in your house. So this is a really cool feature. I have not seen this on other apps um, where you can actually disable um, that feature when you're on your Wi-Fi network. So when it knows you're home, it won't keep constantly ringing. Ooh, look at this guys. This is the Nest. Works with the Nest. This is really awesome. Um, I actually have a couple of Nest products or they actually used to be Drop Cam, um, Nest Bart Drop Cam, actually Google Bart Nest and then Nest Bart Drop Cam or vice versa. Um, so it is a Google product. It's just a couple companies down. Um, I, this is really cool. So you can get this to work um, with your Nest product. So when it knows that you're home, um, eventually you, you'll be able to like open your garage doors or something like that automatically or unlock your doors. So this is really cool that this works with Nest. I'm not gonna set this up right now because I really don't see a way um, or ability or need to have this sync with my home cameras. It's just, you know, if I wanted to disable the cameras while I'm home, um, I guess I would, I could set that up, but because I want them running all the time, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Here's some FAQs. Oh, that takes you to the web, so I'm not gonna do that. And you can order more devices. All right, let's see what else. And you can, here's your devices, you can add more devices. Here's some settings, you can name it. Shows you the battery level, which is really cool. Device separation alert. I'm kind of confused here why it has this setting and then it also has this setting. I guess this is just a quick way to disable your um, separation alerts. I don't understand why they would put that in both. I guess if you have multiple, this was silent. All your, if you have multiple devices, this was silent. Um, all of them. But if you want to do it individually, this is probably where you would do it. Here's uh, device separation alert and iPhone separation alert. Alert uh, duration. I'm gonna do 10 seconds. You can actually change the song. It's really cool. And you can also share this out with other people so other people can track this if you give them access to. All right guys, that looks like about it in the app. Um, I will be doing a distance test, so um, please click right here for the distance test video. And if you guys want to pick up this product, um, I will link, leave a link for Amazon below and you guys can check out the pricing and availability there. I appreciate if you guys give me a thumbs up on this video and check out um, some of the other videos which I will put up right here. And one last thing, make sure you guys subscribe. I will put a link right here. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.